This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, April 13th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. New York police confiscate unlicensed gun from E. Jean Carroll. The New York Police Department waited a month before taking action to confiscate a firearm belonging to writer E. Jean Carroll. This move came after Carroll during her testimony in a defamation lawsuit against former President Donald Trump, revealed she possessed an unlicensed gun at her residence. For some unknown reason, the police action, according to a report by NBC News, did not lead to any charges being filed against Carroll. The chief of Warwick, New York Police personally visited Carroll's home on February 15th to address certain open issues. Among these was Carol's own admission, made while testifying on January 17th, that she kept a high standard revolver in nine chambers by her bed without a valid license. Officer John Rader indicated in the report that he quote unquote offered to secure the weapon at the police station's property room for safekeeping. Carol, accompanied by a member of her security detail, complied with the officer's request the following day. The gun is to remain in police custody until Carol can obtain a New York pistol license. Scary. Under New York law, unlicensed possession of a firearm is a serious offense, potentially leading to felony charges, with penalties that can include up to four years in prison. However, no charges have been filed against Carol in relationship to this unlicensed gun. It is still unclear why the New York Police Department did not file charges against this serious offense. The reason behind the New York Police Department's delayed response a month to Carol's January testimony and the current status of the farm also remains unclear. The issue of Carol's gun ownership was a point of contention during the trial, particularly during cross-examination. Trump's attorney, Alina Haba, Question Carol's knowledge of the legal requirements for gun ownership, prompting U.S. District Judge Lewis Kaplan to express frustration with a line of questioning. I personally believe there should be some sort of evaluation, mental evaluation, before any such license is given to writer E. Jean Carroll. God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember... Anything's possible. Bizarro world.